Hey everybody and welcome to the last episode of I Should Be Painting for 2020 and this week we are going to be talking about the five most valuable hobby and 40k lessons that I have learned from 2020. The five most valuable lessons slash tips or tricks that I have learned in 2020 mostly come from my friend circle, things that I have picked up from them. Starting off, the first thing that I have learned and that I have implemented mostly when not on live streams. If you look at live streams, you're not going to see this, but when I'm painting by myself is to have two separate rinse water cups one for metallics and one for non-metallic. Even though the likelihood of getting metallic flakes into your non-metallic paint during the rinse process seems minuscule, I've actually found this to be much, much better for keeping my brushes healthy. Having a specific brush and cup just for your metallics has kept my non-metallic brushes much nicer for a longer period of time. The fourth thing that I've learned is to increase the size of my rinse water cups. I typically use small coffee cups and we have those available, CGN paint water, non-paint water cups, but I have found actually that a larger cup, I have moved to the Adepticon beer mug tumbler, uh, is actually better because the more water you have, the longer you can use it, the less likely you are to get that crud back up into your brush. Number three also comes from Big Aaron, and that is the Socks brand number four brushes. While these brushes are a bit larger than what I would normally buy for miniature painting, they have a fine point and they can hold a lot of paint. I have found them to be useful both for doing detail work and for putting on washes. And because of their low price, I have no problem throwing them away and simply pulling out a new one instead of being very fearful about damaging my expensive yet gentle brush. Number two is learning Adobe Illustrator. With all of the Glowforge cutting that I have been doing, I have had to learn a new program. This program being Adobe Illustrator. Learning Adobe Illustrator has not only allowed me to make fantastic three-dimensional objects with my Glowforge, but it has also taught me how to make better graphics and graphic design, not only for the channel, but also just for fun. I have been meaning to add Adobe Illustrator to my electronic vocabulary for a long time in 2020 has finally seen that come to pass. Lastly, and most importantly, I have started keeping a painting journal. Now, I don't keep a physical book where I talk about my feelings about painting. No, I simply keep a running Microsoft Word document for each painting project where I list out the steps and paints that I used for that army. I have found this to be helpful for two reasons. One, should I need to go back to the technique, I have a list of instructions that I can look at, but also as I review that list of instructions, I have found ways to improve my painting methodology, reducing the amount of time, combining different steps, and overall coming up with a faster and better paint scheme in the end. This came into play very dramatically, first with my Space Marines, and then very much into the Gene Stealers, which will be done by the end of 2020. Now, as always, it's time to take a look at our three featured creators. So let's head on over to the computer for the last three creators of 2020. Well, here we are at the computer one last time, and we are gonna take a look at the final three featured artists for 2020. And we are all on Facebook today. We are starting out with David, who has made this amazing fire spray repaint where you can see the reflection of a planet in the glass of the ship. And that is just mind blowing to me. I mean, first of all, I'm sure that like, I'm sure other people have done this. Um, I haven't seen it and it's never even crossed my mind to be like, oh, you know, you can paint glass to be clear, or you can make it look like it's glass, but to paint the reflection of an approaching planet, I suppose it, I suppose it could be backing away from the planet. I, I don't know. I don't know the physics that are particularly involved with this particular moment in time, but I do know that there is a painting reflected in the windshield of this fire spray. 
and that makes me tremendously happy. So David, thank you for bringing me such joy and inspiration. Next, we are moving over to Tom. Tom is a conversion master. If you are looking for somebody to give you inspiration on how to convert your miniatures into something even better, yes, of course, there's Sean from CGN, but now you also have Tom, and I think that this is just an absolutely amazing conversion. Um, he's very prolific with his posts and his work, so there's always something fun to find from Tom. Tom, this is great. And of course it counts. It counts for whatever you want it to count. Unless you wanted his razor claws to be melt guns and then that doesn't that doesn't work that way. Lastly, from Heinrich, we have the dreaded Necron Nightmare Meat Wagon. What? Necrons aren't made of meat. But now that they are, it's a nightmare. That's for sure, what a fantastic conversion. I mean, it is so darn corny, but it's not corn. It's Necrons, meaty, fleshy, bloody, terrible Necrons. So don't let anybody tell you ever that in this hobby, you can't make something meaty and bloody. Even Necrons can be meaty and bloody. So thank you so much, Heinrich, for taking us out on the final episode of I Should Be Painting for 2020. Thank you so much all for joining us on this last episode of I Should Be Painting for 2020. I can't wait to get started in 2021. Thank you all to our new subscribers and to our Patreon members, as well as those who join us every Sunday for our live stream. Of course, there will also be a live stream this Sunday, tomorrow, December 27th at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and every Sunday after for the foreseeable future. As always, this has been Aaron from CGN. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you never miss an update. If you want to take your patronage to the next level, check out our Patreon in the notes below or join our Discord. And as always, we'll see you on the table. Happy holidays and Happy New Year.